So let's compare the Intel's Haswell processors i7-4510U and i7-4710NQ. So basically, the most important difference is i7-474510U is a dual core. i7-4710NQ uh, something wrong here 4710NQ it's a quad core processor just because the processor's number of core they double you can expect at least double the performance uh, it, it, it's just not the um, number of cores we also see that the base clock frequency for 4710NQ is also more than the base clock frequency of 4510 so and also the turbo clock is much higher in case of 4710NQ uh, and that's what we it's reflected in the past market score it's almost uh, more than the double the performance so if you are looking for the performance notebook processor your choice is obviously i7-47M0NQ uh, also because the i7 i7-4710NQ has a better uh, integrated graphics. So what is the purpose of uh, use of potentially for i7-4510U? Well, one reason is the i7-4510U is a low power processor especially made for thin laptop, sleek laptop, higher battery life, so on and so forth. If you are more looking for a mobility and you are not a gamer or a programmer and you don't need to use compiler software development and things that require a lot of processing power you might want to stay with i7-4510U but if any of these are your requirement well i7-4510NQ is slightly expensive but still worth it uh, let's take a look at the rentals website comparison here you go and both of them four listed here side by side by Intel and uh, the cover post of them the clock speed and the max turbo clock frequency well the max turbo clock frequency was I think wrong in this but here it is 3.1 gigahertz versus 3.5 gigahertz one more thing is the i7-4710NQ has higher L3 cache. Uh, again, from the price point of view, well, the i7-4710NQ is even cheaper. So, the price point, you get more performance of a lower price. So, if you are looking for a performance and you are not into the high good battery life or light and things like that, well, i7 10 is the obvious choice. Uh, here are the different differences. We also get a PCI Express 3.0 with i7 10 q Another good point to go with it. So that basically covers most of the differences. Leave your comment. Thanks for looking.